The Adventures of Salt and Soap by Laurie April Rome, illustrated by Tim Jessel. Under a brilliant blue sky, a cottontail hides in the brush while a coyote waits patiently to make chase. A raven soars overhead. Red earth carpets the ground of this warm Arizona wilderness on the eastern rim of the Grand Canyon. You see the cottontail, a wild rabbit. You see the coyote hiding here, waiting to make chase. What else do you notice? Everything looks exactly as it should, except for two puppies napping side by side. Their paws wiggle and their whiskers twitch as dreams of adventure fill their sleepy heads. The scent of sagebrush catches the wind and a distant noise awakens the pups. Where did you two come from? The National Park Service rangers asks, surprised to see puppies in such a remote area of the park. Parks are for wild animals, not puppies, but these pups don't seem to know that. They roll over with and wiggle with excitement as the rangers rub their bellies. Look how happy these puppies are to have their bellies rubbed. The pups peer over the rim to watch as their new friends start down the trail on their way to meet some river rangers at the bottom of the canyon. They want to go too. They bound down the canyon's steep slopes after the rangers. Together, they all hike deeper and deeper into the Grand Canyon National Park. Can you spot the puppies running after the rangers? By sunset, the rangers and pups reach the Colorado River. Red, pink, and orange rock walls tower above them. I can't believe these brave puppies made it down to the bottom, a river ranger exclaims. The puppies squeal with delight and greet their new friends with yips and licks. All of these new friends to play with. Look how happy the pups look here too. After dinner, the dogs curl up on a ranger's raft and quickly fall asleep until plop, 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 plop. What do you think's happened now? Yep, rain. Rain splashes onto the ground and then boom, a loud clap of thunder. Thunder shakes the pup's raft and lightning streaks above. Frightened, the puppies jump off the boat, dash into a tent, and snuggle up next to a ranger. Here they look much more cozy anyway, don't they? Have you heard thunder before? Thunder can be very loud and startling, but it won't hurt you. Lightning, lightning does and can hurt, so you gotta be careful. In the morning, the river rangers get ready to continue their trip. The puppies wag their tails, hoping to go along with them. Sorry, pups, the river is too dangerous for you, they say. How about a treat, offers one of the park rangers heading back up the trail. Let's get you back to the rim. So the puppies follow the rangers all the way to the top. Go on home now, they say, pointing to the houses off in the distance. But the pups want to go on another adventure. They peer down the trail at the river far below. After the rangers are gone, they head back down into the canyon. Oh, those pups, they like going on adventures, don't they? A dozen miles upriver, a group of friends launches their raft for the journey of a lifetime. As they float down the Colorado River, they see many amazing things. Big horned sheep drink along the riverbanks, and a scavenging California condor circles overhead searching for meals. 
Suddenly, they see something even more amazing. What on earth are puppies doing at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, they wonder. So they see wild animals that are pretty amazing, but they were stunned to see puppies. The river runners offer the dogs food, water, and lots of attention. They even give them names. Let's call the white one salt after salt water wash. How about soap for the black and brown one after the nearby side canyon, another river runner suggests. Salt and soap it is, they exclaimed. So now the puppies have names. Can you point to salt? Do you remember what the name of the brown and white, um, black dog is? It's too hot and dangerous to keep puppies, so the river runners decide to take them to safety at the ranger station at Phantom Ranch, 80 miles down river. So they all get back into the raft to head down to the ranch. Sometimes though, going on the rap rivers can go into rapids, and that's just what started to happen. Splash, swoosh, Crashing rapids toss the boats around in the river. Hold on, the river runners shout. Pow, slam, a huge wave hits and the raft flips. Pups and people tumble into the icy cold water. The water pulls them under, then spits them back out. Both the pups and the river runners struggle to swim ashore. Oh my, look at that. It can be dangerous when you're on a rapids in the raft flips over, throwing you into the river. Luckily, they were able to get to shore. Safe and sound at last, the river runners and pups cozy up with blankets, towels, and hot drinks. They are overjoyed to be dry and warm. Everyone settles in for a good night's sleep in order to be ready to continue their journey to Phantom Ranch. Well, the puppies look very happy to be there by the fire. Nice and cozy and warm. A few days later, farther down the river at Phantom Ranch, the morning begins like any other. The rangers hike, watch for wildlife, and talk to hikers about nature until... Knock, knock! Ranger Lori opens the ranger station door and finds quite a surprise. Oh my goodness, puppies, she laughs. After hearing the story of how salt and soap got to the bottom of Grand Canyon, Ranger Lori takes them in as lost and found items. The pups bark and yip their goodbyes as the river runners head back to their rafts. So now Ranger Lori has salt and soap. I've got work to do, says Ranger Lori, and until we can find a way to get you pups out of the canyon, I guess you'll have to join me. Adorned with blue bandanas, rope leashes, and junior ranger badges, the pups help check permits and make sure food is secured from wildlife at the campground. They wag their tails and make friends with the campers they meet. At the end of the day, Ranger Lori explains to Salt and Soap that tomorrow, their next venture will continue. Just wait and see, she tells them. Oh my, what do you think their next adventure is going to be? Aren't those great bandanas on them? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Here comes your ride, Ranger Lori exclaims. A helicopter zooms into view and lands in the narrow canyon near Phantom Ranch. The crew members place helmets on the pups' heads before they climb into their kennels. Hang on, the pilot warns. This will be a quick eight-minute trip. Canyon walls drop away as the helicopter rises high into the sky. Soon, the river looks like a watery thread. Wow! How exciting! The dogs get to go for a ride in a helicopter!
Do you remember how long that helicopter ride was going to be? Yep, eight quick minutes. Let's count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once in the South Rim Forest, Salt and Soap find a new home on the edge of the Grand Canyon with Ranger Lori. They have a big yard where elk and deer pass by and squirrels eat pine cones in the tree branches above. They hide whenever thunderstorms boom overhead. Never apart for a day in their lives, Salt and Soap nap in the summer sun side by side, safe and loved. Their paws and ears twitch as they dream of what their next adventure might be. It looks like Salt and Soap have a wonderful home with Ranger Lori. Ah, and here's a picture of the real Salt and Soap. And they've got a new friend there too, and this friend Salt and Soap and their brother, Maury. Salt and Soap and their brother, Maury. The end, the adventures of Salt and Soap.